Ever wondered how you can achieve financial stability and grow your wealth over time? Let's dive into that today. Financial stability isn't just about having enough money to cover your expenses, it's about having the confidence and the freedom to live the life you want without the constant worry of where your next paycheck is coming from. And how do we achieve this? Through smart investment. Now, investing can seem like a daunting task, especially with the plethora of options available. Stocks, bonds, real estate, cryptocurrency, the list goes on. It's crucial to understand each investment option, its potential returns, and risks to make informed decisions. And that's where we come in. We're here to help you navigate the complex world of investments, one concept at a time. One such option you might have heard of is index funds, but what exactly are they? Index funds, you might have heard the term before, but do you know what it means? Venture with me into the world of finance, where index funds play a vital role. Imagine you're at a grand buffet. There are so many dishes to choose from, but you're not quite sure what you fancy. You decide, why not have a little bit of everything? That's essentially what an index fund does, but with stocks, bonds, or other types of investments, instead of food. An index fund is a type of mutual fund, which is nothing more than a collection of investments bundled together. What sets index funds apart is how they are assembled. They are designed to track a specific basket of underlying investments. This basket is usually based on an index, which is a group of stocks or bonds that represents a specific segment of the market. For instance, consider the S&P 500, a popular index in the United States. It includes 500 of the largest companies in the country. An S&P 500 index fund, therefore, would invest in the same stocks as the S&P 500 index, aiming to mirror its performance as closely as possible. But who decides what goes into these indexes? Well, they are typically created by financial companies who have preset rules for what gets included. For example, the rules might state that only companies with a market capitalization above a certain threshold can be part of the index. Index funds are essentially a way to buy a slice of the market. Instead of picking individual stocks or bonds, you're buying a little bit of many different ones. It's like betting on the entire horse race rather than a single horse. This approach offers a level of diversification that can be difficult to achieve on your own. The beauty of index funds lies in their simplicity. You don't need to be a Wall Street whiz to understand them. They offer a straightforward way to invest in a broad swath of the market without needing to research and select individual investments. So, in essence, index funds allow you to invest in a broad market all at once. But how exactly do index funds work? Well, let's break it down. Index funds work by mirroring or tracking a specific index. An index is essentially a collection of stocks or bonds that represent a portion of the market. Think of it as a snapshot of the market. When you hear people talk about the market, they're often referring to an index like the SP500 or the Dow Jones Industrial Average. So, how does an index fund fit in? An index fund is a type of mutual fund or exchange-traded fund that aims to replicate the performance of a specific index. It does this by buying all the shares, or a representative sample of the shares, in the index it is tracking. Let's say we have an index fund that tracks the SP500, which is an index of the 500 largest publicly traded companies in the US. This index fund would own shares in all 500 companies in the same proportions as they exist in the SP500 index. If a particular company makes up 2% of the SP500, then 2% of the index fund would be invested in that company. This approach allows the index fund to mimic the performance of the index it's tracking. If the index goes up, so does the value of the index fund. If the index goes down, the index fund follows suit. One thing to note is that index funds are passively managed. This means there's no fund manager making decisions about which stocks to buy and sell. Instead, the fund simply follows the index. This passive management keeps costs low, which is one of the reasons why index funds are popular with investors. So, think of an index fund as a way to buy the entire market, or at least a big chunk of it, in one go. It's a way to spread your investments across a wide range of companies and sectors which can help to reduce risk. So, by investing in an index fund, you're essentially buying a small piece of the entire market. Now that we know what index funds are and how they work, let's delve into why they could be a good investment option. First up is diversification. When you invest in an index fund, you're essentially buying a tiny slice of each company in that index. So, rather than putting all your eggs in one basket, with index funds, 
you're spreading your investment across a broad range of stocks. This means if one company performs poorly, it won't significantly impact your overall investment. In other words, you're not betting on a single horse, but rather the entire race. Secondly, index funds are known for their lower costs. Unlike actively managed funds, where a team of analysts and portfolio managers are constantly buying and selling stocks, index funds are passively managed. They simply aim to replicate the performance of a particular index. This means they don't incur the same level of transaction costs and management fees, making them a more cost-effective option over the long term. Now let's talk about risk. Investing always comes with a degree of risk. However, index funds may potentially offer lower risk compared to investing in individual stocks. Remember, the risk in investing isn't just about losing money, it's also about the risk of not making as much as you could have. With index funds, you're not trying to beat the market, you're just trying to match it. And since the overall trend of the market has been upward, this could be a safer bet. Finally, let's not overlook the convenience factor. With index funds, you don't need to spend time researching individual companies or trying to time the market. The fund does all the work for you, tracking the index it's tied to. This makes index funds a relatively hands-off investment strategy, ideal for those who prefer a set-it-and-forget-it approach. So, index funds offer a cost-effective and diversified way to invest in the market. Like any investment, index funds also come with certain drawbacks. Now let's pivot our discussion towards that. It's not all sunshine and rainbows. There are some gray clouds that we need to be aware of. Firstly, index funds lack flexibility. When you invest in an index fund, you're essentially buying a small piece of every company in that particular index. This means you're stuck with the good, the bad, and the downright ugly. There's no room to pick and choose which companies you want to invest in or avoid. The fund simply mirrors the index, it's tracking warts and all. If a company in the index is performing poorly, you're stuck with it until it's removed from the index. Secondly, there's no potential for outperformance. Index funds are designed to mimic the performance of a specific index, not to beat it. This means that while you can expect steady returns in line with the market, you won't see the kind of dramatic gains that can be achieved with individual stocks or actively managed funds. If the market goes up by 10%, your index fund goes up by 10%. If the market goes down by 10%, well, you get the picture. Lastly, index funds expose investors to market volatility. While it's true that diversification helps to spread risk, it doesn't eliminate it. If the overall market takes a nosedive, your index fund will follow suit. It's a passive strategy, meaning you're along for the ride, whether it's a thrilling ascent or gut-wrenching drop. However, it's worth mentioning that these drawbacks are part and parcel of any investment. There's always a trade-off between risk and reward, and it's important to understand what you're getting into. So, to sum up, while index funds offer a simple, low-cost way to invest in the stock market, they do come with downsides including lack of flexibility, no potential for outperformance, and exposure to market volatility. It's essential to weigh these pros and cons before diving into index funds. So, are index funds the right investment for you? As we've discussed, index funds are a type of mutual fund that tracks a specific market index. They provide diversification, which can minimize risk, and they generally come with lower fees than other types of funds. However, they also mirror the market's performance, meaning if the market dips, so too will your investment. The key takeaway here is that index funds can be a valuable part of a balanced investment portfolio. They're not the only option though, and they may not be the best fit for everyone. It's crucial to understand your own financial goals and risk tolerance before you start investing. Are you looking for slow, steady growth? Or are you comfortable with more risk for potentially higher returns? Remember, investing is not a one-size-fits-all solution. It's about finding the right strategies that align with your financial goals and risk tolerance. So take the time to understand your options and you'll be well on your way to achieving financial stability. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.